Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what is in Reuben's Easter basket. Um, for those of you that don't know, Reuben will be seven months old by Easter. Um, and yeah, it was kind of fun, but a little bit more tricky doing him an Easter basket this year. Um, I think as the years go on, it'd be easier because obviously he's too little to do any of like the craft things or like he's too little to do an egg hunt and he's really too little to even eat a lot of the things you didn't have at Easter. Um, so I had to think a little bit outside the box, but I'm really happy with what we got. Um, I'll give you a look. It's a crate rather than a basket, but... It looks like that. I will try and insert a prettier picture of it. But yeah, um, his crate um, is just a grey crate that has been personalised with his name. Um, did think about getting a Easter themed basket or, or box for him. Um, but then I went against it because I kind of thought we could use this box for other things, be it putting his books in or um, I know some people do like a Halloween box and a Christmas Eve box so we can use it again rather than just having one for like Easter but yeah uh, we got that off of Etsy probably should have researched it a little bit better because since ordering that I have found you can get bigger for like the same price or even cheaper than what we paid um, but it's a really robust box. I think it will, or crate, I think it will last for years. Um, so I am happy with it, but yeah, we, we could have probably got a bigger box for a better price if we'd researched a little harder. Um, the first thing I've got doesn't actually fit in the crate. <laughs> um, yeah, I've already shown this one in a home bargains haul, but he is part of Ruben's Easter present. Um, he's a giant Peter Rabbit. He's so big that he was like 14 99 I think 14 99 um, from Home Bargains. He's really sweet. He's lovely quality. So yeah, that is the big thing. Um, and I will just start pulling things out of here to show you. It's a little bit awkward. So the first thing we've got is a my first rolling rattling rattling ball. Um, it just looks fun. It's for three months plus. Um, and I'll say Ruben will be seven months old come Easter, but he's only really just started. I'm um, like Ruben still can't crawl. He can roll, and he can kind of do. I don't know the right term for it. He can do like a commando crawl, like just use his arms, but the legs don't kick in yet. Um, but I think he will find this fun to play with while we're on the floor. Um, yeah, so we've got him in that one. And then got this top. I love this top. I wear it myself. I just think it's so unique. I like, haven't seen... I haven't seen anything really like it. Um, so it's hot cross buns with this lovely blue and yellow and grey trim. I just think it's so fun. Um, this was actually made by a Cornish small business that I follow over on Instagram. I will link them. Um, yeah, so not only do I love it because it's made locally, that it feels so unique. Um, but yeah, it's a small business on Instagram that I follow and I love it. I think Ruben will probably wear this Good Friday. It's just so fun. Um, but yeah, I would totally wear a hot cross bun top for myself. <laughs> uh, the next thing I'm going to pull out is we've got this little um, LED bunny light. It is holding a, a carrot. Um, this was from Rex of London. Uh, I'm quite sure it was less than four pound. It's really cute. There. Oh, it is Easter, so we do have a little bit of chocolate. Um, Milky Bar white chocolate egg is just a small one. 
Um, Ruben has never tried chocolate before. Easter Sunday will be his first ever go. Um, yeah, I don't know if he'll like it. He like he's never really had anything that sweet. That that will be his first attempt of chocolate. Um, what next? Oh, we got a little pack of bubbles for him. Obviously, he'll be supervised playing with it because he can't. He can blow raspberries now, um, but obviously he's too little to understand blowing bubbles. And then I've got a stack of books because I'm that kind of mum, clearly. Um, so yeah, we've got him three books. The first one is they're all they're all board books as well. So the first one is um, Baby's First Easter. This was from W. H. Smith. It is beautiful it has some really nice pictures it's a mixture of illustration and like photo pictures so like it's one of a family reading their bible and then there's like a donkey um as i say illustrations Look at this beautiful little girl but yeah it's just a really nice book um it's that thing it's tricky because I know a lot of people at Easter it's all about chocolate and bunnies and things and I don't want to come down too heavy on Reuben but obviously it is the reason for the season so start him and start him young um, you know and learning about about uh, the religious side of, of the holiday um, but I have also got him it kind of ties in with his toy the Peter Rabbit Easter Surprise book again, board book. This was from W. H. Smith's. The illustrations on this is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. I just love it. And then the third book, um, this we got. I picked this up from a local Christian shop um, that's in our local town. Um, they would have been able to stay open because they are, um, they give food to those that need it basically. Um, it's a really great shop actually. Um, you don't need to have food bank vouchers, you don't need to be on certain benefits. They just have um, some shelves of food and you can go in and help yourself if you need it. Um, they also sell religious books, religious cards, um, you can buy rosaries and like religious bookmarks and things like that and like prints. Um, so obviously normally at the moment of recording this that like bookstores and religious stores are not allowed to be open but because they have that food bank side of things they are, um, it's not technically a food bank but it's a charitable thing that gives away food. So yeah, so was able to go in and pick this up and we made a donation and obviously paid for the book um, but you can get this book on Amazon I've seen it so this is called Easter Celebration again the illustrations are beautiful um, and it's just a very nice simple way of, of kind of introducing you know when you're reading a child a book introducing religion into into things um and even though like the first one it's just a mixture of, of, of processes but even though that's like baby's first easter you can read these every easter can't you for the next few years um it's just lovely uh the next thing we got i don't know how well this is going to come up on camera uh we got a little wooden and silicone bunny teething ring at point of recording Reuben has got two teeth, um, two little teethy pegs, uh, and more on the way, so this is needed, but yeah, just a little grey one, he's super cute, love it, it's a mixture of, of trying to give practical gifts as well, isn't it, I suppose, and then again Peter Rabbit for him to wear at some point over Easter, a little personalised blue 
bib it's a bit big <laughs> a little bit big on him um but it'll be fine and again so we've got peter rabbit and it says reuben's first easter very sweet um and then i've got this didn't come broken i dropped it this is from sainsbury's this is a free from gluten-free milk-free strawberry and white chocolate bunny um, the caffeine is quite low, so Ruben can have it, but yeah, I broke him. And then the last thing in the box is this bag. I bought this from a company on eBay. They make like gift bags for like birthday parties, but they will do a one-off. So it says Happy Easter Ruben. Again, it's got Peter Rabbit and Jemima Puddle Duck on. I think it's really beautiful. And then inside... have um a sense is it called a sensory ball we have a small one of these and Ruben loves it so the big one should be good and well and they put his name on everything with little peter rabbit things which is quite cute and then it has this is a little peter rabbit book but they've wrapped it so i don't really want to unwrap it and then there's a little bunny sticker and then a baby safe badge with peter rabbit on um and his name when i say baby safe it's got one of those clips rather than a pin so a little baby safe peter rabbit badge with his name on and then there is a selection of chocolate that also have his name on but these are milk chocolate, which he can't have. So daddy will probably eat those for him. And yeah, and that is what is in Ruben's Easter basket or crate. Um, I know some people will think we've probably gone over the top. Some people might think we've not done enough. Um, it's a balancing act, isn't it? Uh, but as I said, I think because Ruben is so little, it was a bit tricky. Um, I did see so many fun craft project like craft things and I saw a really cute uh, Eastern Lego set um, but obviously too little for that so maybe next year you can have a Duplo Lego rabbit to play um, but yeah that's what's in Ruben's Easter basket uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video if you have feel free to give us a thumbs up comment subscribe share blah 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 um, I hope you're all okay guys I hope you're staying safe I'm well, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.